Kashima Ryuto is a 16-year-old boy who is shy and doesn't have many friends. He likes a girl named Shirakawa. She is very pretty and popular. Kashima liked her but didn't think he had a chance with her. One day in class, Kashima overheard some boys saying mean things about Shirakawa. He wondered if they were telling the truth. Later, Shirakawa came over and borrowed a pencil from Kashima, which made him happy. After school, Kashima ate with his two friends, Ichi and Nishi. They made a deal that whoever scored the highest on their next exam would get to dare one of the others to do something. Kashima ended up with the top score. His friends dared him to tell his crush that he liked her, thinking she would harshly turn him down. Kashima wanted to follow through on the dare to prove he could handle rejection. He left a note in Shirakawa's locker asking her to meet him. Surprisingly, she showed up and Kashima awkwardly confessed that he liked her. Shirakawa said yes to going on a date with him. She was single and thought she would give Kashima a chance. Kashima was really happy that the popular Shirakawa was now his girlfriend. After school one day, he walked her home. Shirakawa asked if they had talked before and Kashima lied to her telling they never talked before. Kashima asked Shirakawa why she chose him. She said she liked him a little already. Kashima had heard rumors that Shirakawa frequently dumped boyfriends, but they weren't true. She explained that she tries hard to make relationships work, but gets dumped instead. However, she hoped spending more time with Kashima would make her feelings grow. When they got to Shirakawa's stop, she invited Kashima over since her parents weren't home. In her room, Kashima sees her undergarments and becomes shy. Shirakawa arrives there and tells him that they should have sex. Kashima felt very uncomfortable with things moving so fast. Shirakawa explains that she offers sex so her boyfriends won't leave her for other girls. She just wants to keep them happy. Kashima didn't know what to do. He wanted to have sex but also have a meaningful relationship. Kashima told Shirakawa he cared about her and wanted to take things slow. As they walked together, Shirakawa said Kashima was the kindest boyfriend she'd had. Kashima explained he'd never dated before, so she didn't need to worry about him straying. Everything seemed great between them now. But part of Kashima did regret saying no to having sex with Shirakawa. One morning, Kashima gets a text from Shirakawa saying she woke up late and would be late for school. He tells her to hurry so she won't be too late. Kashima then tells his friends, Ichi and Nishi, that Shirakawa is now his girlfriend. He also shares about going to her house. They ask if he had sex with her and Kashima replies with a no. His friends think he is foolish to pass up the chance with a girl. But Kashima says he will keep dating Shirakawa, believing more intimate moments will come. His friends warn she may have just been using him for one night. In class, Kashima talks to Shirakawa and he notices a girl named Nicole staring at them, which makes him nervous. Shirakawa starts chatting with Kashima more in school and Kashima asks her to keep their relationship secret. He didn't want anyone to know that Shirakawa was dating a guy like him. However, Shirakawa already told her best friend Nicole about them. Well, Kashima also revealed his relationship with her to his friends so they were even. Kashima suggests they not talk much in school but chat on weekends instead, and asks Shirakawa out. She understands he means a date and agrees to go out that Saturday. At home, Shirakawa calls Kashima to ask what they will do. He isn't sure so he suggests a movie but doesn't know which to pick. Shirakawa asks why he asked her out where Kashima explains he wants to get to know her interests better. Since Kashima wanted to know her better, Shirakawa proposes they do something she likes. The next day at the mall, Kashima thinks Shirakawa looks gorgeous. After shopping, they settle down to have a meal together and she asks him if he is bored. Kashima however, was genuinely enjoying their date. Shirakawa gets a call from someone and says she is with Kashima. Kashima wonders whom she is talking to and what her friend thinks about him. Later at home, Kashima notices that Shirakawa hadn't responded to his messages. He wonders if she has another boyfriend and is just using him. He also notices her talking to other boys at school the next day. Shirakawa asks Kashima to meet her that evening. Kashima noticed a distance between each other recently and was expecting a breakup. He was sad and prepared himself for it. Shirakawa however, didn't plan on breaking up. She gave matching phone covers to him for their one-week anniversary. As they walk back home together, a car passes by and Kashima talks about it. Kashima was really knowledgeable about cars and talked a lot about them. Shirakawa shares about her parents, they fell in love at a young age and got a divorce. Shirakawa also wants to gain as much experience as he can while still being young. She is often insecure about few things but Kashima admires her outlook. He shares a story about being rejected by a girl named Kuroz Maria, and this degraded his confidence when it came to talking with girls. At home, Shirakawa tells Nicole she wants to impress Kashima, admitting she now genuinely likes him. The next day, a new student named Kuroz Maria joins the same class as Kashima. 
As Kuroz joins the same class as Kashima, Kashima becomes awkward because he still remembers how she rejected him. The teacher places her right beside him. She notices Kashima and asks him to be friends with her, so Kashima agrees to it. However, Kashima is afraid that his past with Kuroz might be revealed, therefore he decides not to get too close to her. As he walks out of the class, Nicole visits him and tells him that Shirakawa's birthday is coming next week. Kashima asks Nicole what Shirakawa likes because he wants to gift her something to her liking. Nicole agrees to help and sits with him. Meanwhile, someone takes a picture of Nicole and Kashima sitting together. Kashima meets Shirakawa at the train station and is surprised to see her when she shows the picture of him sitting with Nicole. She asks him if he went on a date with Nicole yet he clears up the misunderstanding by telling her what actually happened between them, and Shirakawa is relieved. As she moves toward the school, Kashima wonders if she was jealous. On the day of Shirakawa's birthday, Kashima takes her on a bubble tea date because Nicole told him it is her favorite drink. Kashima did research on bubble tea flavors in order to find the best one to impress her. Shirakawa was very happy that Kashima tried so hard. As they walk together, Shirakawa offers her bubble tea to Kashima, so he agrees to take it. This is like an indirect kiss, and Kashima becomes shy but enjoys the moment. Kashima wanted Shirakawa to pick a birthday present by herself, yet he only had 1,000 yen left after the bubble tea date therefore, Shirakawa laughs and takes the paper as her gift. It was the paper where Kashima wrote down about his bubble tea research. The date ends perfectly and Kashima goes to school the next day. At school, he hears rumors about Shirakawa. Everyone was talking about how nasty she is, that she always makes the guy pay for dates and changes boyfriends every two months. But Kashima knows that it isn't true. He wonders who spread those rumors when Nicole also tells Kashima about them, yet he already knew about it. Kashima is in his classroom, and Kuroz talks to him. She tells him that she regrets rejecting him and wants to give him a chance, but Kashima tells her that he has a girlfriend now. Kuroz asks him who his girlfriend is, yet Kashima doesn't tell her. As Kashima walks in the hallway, he sees a guy proposing to Shirakawa, but Shirakawa rejects him. She tells the guy that she has a boyfriend but refuses to reveal who he is. The boy asks her if she is embarrassed. However she tells him that she is proud of him because she likes him very much. She tells the guy that she doesn't want to reveal her boyfriend's identity because her boyfriend wants to keep it a secret, but she has no problem in revealing it. Kashima hears this and becomes very happy, since he thought that Shirakawa was embarrassed about their relationship, yet that wasn't the case. In the classroom, Kuroz talks about Shirakawa's rumors with Kashima, and Kashima disagrees with whatever she said. He argues with her and reveals that he is Shirakawa's boyfriend in front of the whole class. When Kashima reveals he is dating Shirakawa to Kuroz and others, everyone is shocked. <laughs> They now think the rumors about Shirakawa are false because she dates Kashima, who isn't popular. Kuroz gets really upset and runs off so Kashima follows her and learns she spread rumors about her twin sister Shirakawa. Kuroz was jealous that attractive Shirakawa got all the attention, even as a kid. No one cared about Kuroz. Kuroz thought she had to change to get attention from people so she tried becoming more like Shirakawa, but she still couldn't compete. Kashima says he also struggles in front of others. He tells Kuroz they shouldn't change, it's too hard. Kuroz asks Kashima to leave, so he does. Nicole praises Kashima for boldly revealing he dates Shirakawa then walks away. Shirakawa is also happy Kashima told everyone so she doesn't have to hide it anymore. Kashima says he never believed the rumors, making Shirakawa very happy. Meanwhile, Kuroz starts having feelings for Kashima but doesn't like it. The next day, Kashima worries everyone will see him differently for dating Shirakawa. But he's wrong, no one cares who he dates, surprising him. Kashima tells Shirakawa about watching streams of his video games and Shirakawa takes interest. Later, Kashima tells friends that he wants to kiss Shirakawa. They make fun of him, saying he won't. Kashima plans his next date thinking about holding Shirakawa's hand since kissing seems unlikely. He and friends make a plan to make her hold his hands. On their date, Kashima asks Shirakawa for a boat ride, but she made food. Before going to the boat ride, we see them eating the food she made. She worked hard on the food, making Kashima very happy. He enjoys it a lot and finishes it all. Kashima then offers Shirakawa a boat ride and she agrees to it. As planned, Shirakawa slips on the dock and Kashima tries grabbing her hand, but fails. Shirakawa suggests going home but Kashima looks serious, worrying her. Yet he says he'd never break up and asks for another boat ride. This time Kashima gets on first and asks for Shirakawa's hand. She gives it to him and he holds it. Shirakawa says she's happy to finally hold his hand, surprising Kashima. He says he wanted to for a long time. Shirakawa suddenly kisses Kashima. After, they walk home together. But Kuroz has fallen for Kashima and decides to take him from Shirakawa. <laughs> 
私がルナに乗ればいい奪えばいいんだわ We see Kashima and Shirakawa playing a game together. They enjoy each other's company more than the game itself and are having a great time. As they walk, Shirakawa reminds Kashima their one month dating anniversary is coming up. It was a special day and Shirakawa planned a beach date. Shirakawa thanks Kashima, she got very good grades on her exam, and Kashima scored even higher. Kashima's friends also did really well and thank him since now everyone can enjoy summer break without worrying about studies. Kuroz asks Kashima to teach her English, but he says he's busy then. Kuroz asks if he can tutor her math after break starts. Yet Kashima says he isn't very good at math. Kuroz wanted to spend time with Kashima but it doesn't work out. She asks for his line ID and he gives it to her. As Kashima waits for Shirakawa, he gets a text from Kuroz asking for study help. But he tells her he's not free and Shirakawa arrives then for their date. Shirakawa puts on a swimsuit and Kashima thinks she looks really beautiful. They spend time on the beach and Shirakawa convinces her parents to let her stay out for the night. They then book a single room to save money by sharing. Kashima wasn't sure what they should do, yet Shirakawa says to get one room for them both. Shirakawa goes to bathe while Kashima worries, not knowing how to act with her. When she returns, Kashima goes to bathe too. At dinner, Kashima finds Shirakawa really cute, like a kid. Shirakawa gets shy but they finish eating. In their room were two beds but Kashima can't sleep with Shirakawa there. Shirakawa offers sex, fulfilling Kashima's desires so he won't leave her. But Kashima asks her to relax, he says he likes her a lot and won't break up. Since they don't have sex, Shirakawa asks Kashima to hug her, so they do. Their one-month anniversary date went great. Shirakawa wants another like it for their two-month one and Kashima agrees. As Kashima goes home, Nicole visits with food. She asks if Shirakawa texts him at night, he says yes. Nicole asks if it's annoying yet Kashima likes the texts, making Nicole happy. Nicole says Shirakawa never dated someone three months, she'd break up at one month or before three. It was like a curse, but Kashima says he'll break that curse and won't leave her. Nicole feels very happy hearing that. Kashima gets a call from Kuroza's number but it's Shirakawa. <laughs> she says she's talking to Kuroza now and tells Kashima to meet her at school that night. As she asked. Kashima goes to the school and enters a storeroom. He looks inside and finds Shirakawa who was waiting to have with him. A girl comes and hugs Kashima and he realizes it's not Shirakawa, it's Kuroz. She asks Kashima to have sex but he says he's with Shirakawa and won't cheat. Sex probably wouldn't be good for her either. They sit on a park bench and it's awkward. Kuroz cries, saying she regrets rejecting Kashima in high school. She tells him that she could have been with him all this time if she accepted his proposal. Kashima becomes awkward. He doesn't know how to react so stays quiet. At school the next day, everyone talks about Kashima and Kuroz. A photo of them on the bench spread around school. In class, Kashima asks if Kuroz spread rumors. She denies it, saying she'd never go that far now. She tells Kashima to block her, telling him that she will avoid following him. As they leave, Shirakawa and Nicole arrive. Shirakawa cries and runs off, dropping and breaking her phone. Kashima tries grabbing it but Nicole snatches it, slapping him and saying to avoid Shirakawa. Kashima gets really depressed. He never sees Shirakawa at school again. His texts go unanswered. Visiting her house doesn't work either. Kashima's friends at the beach send a photo of Shirakawa with a man. Kashima rushes there by train and sees Shirakawa with Nicole and Shirakawa's uncle Mao taking pictures. Kashima apologizes to Shirakawa for hurting her. Nicole scolds him but eventually leaves, letting them talk. Kashima explains everything and Shirakawa believes him, knowing he'd never cheat. Shirakawa gave her broken phone to get fixed but it was taking very long. She couldn't respond to Kashima that way. Before it was fixed, Kashima visited her himself, making her very happy. The misunderstanding gets fixed. With everything settled, Shirakawa takes Kashima to her grandma Seo's house, who she visits often since she lives with her dad, not mom. <laughs> Shirakawa wakes Kashima in his bed, and they both work as waiters at their uncle's shop. While working, two boys come up to Shirakawa and try to get her attention. They make her choose between them, but Kashima steps in to help. Shirakawa tells the boys she'd rather choose Kashima, and they leave. Shirakawa gets upset, but Kashima helps her calm down. Kashima is working hard to go to college, and so is Nicole. However, Shirakawa is unsure about her future plans. She dreams of having a happy family with many children. When they return home, Kashima finds out Shirakawa planned to cook a meat and potato dish for him. Since they are out of potatoes, they decide to go to the grocery store together to buy some. They come back with the ingredients and cook the dish as a team. Kuroza's mom tells her that Granny Seo wants her to visit their beach house, 
but when Kuroz learns that Kashima is there too, she decides not to go. Shirakawa feels sad because she realizes Kuroz is avoiding her. Despite their differences, Shirakawa still values her friendship with Runa. Mao returns Shirakawa's phone, and it's now working again. She and Kashima make a video together. Uncle Mao gives Kashima his salary and suggests he buys a gift for Shirakawa. Kashima agrees and goes to the market to find the perfect present. On the day of the festival, Shirakawa dresses up, and they both attend together. It's their two-month anniversary, and Kashima plans various activities for them at the festival. During a beautiful moment, Kashima gives Shirakawa a moonstone as a gift, making her very happy. Later, they watch fireworks together and enjoy each other's company. Shirakawa asks Kashima to stay on the beach with her for a month doing part-time jobs and enjoying free time together. Shirakawa goes to school and sees Kuroz. She tries to talk to her, but Kuroz walks away. Kashima shares his plan to surprise Shirakawa with his friends Ajichi and Nishi. They plan a game with the girls. Shirakawa asks Tanakita Sensei for help because she has no experience in games. The game starts, and Kashima gets shot while protecting Shirakawa. After a while, one team is defeated and they go to a cafe for a meal. Nishi starts to like Nicole, and Ajichi is interested in Tanakita. Nicole, although single, still has feelings for her ex from 8th grade. They all leave, leaving Shirakawa alone with Kashima. They decide to go on a date, share a kiss at the Ferris wheel, and end their day happily. Both express joy at being together, and Kashima decides to study hard to be a worthy partner for Shirakawa. He attends cram school, where he finds Kuroz in the same class. Not wanting to face Kuroz, Kashima sneaks out and meets a guy named Sakia. They discuss Kuroz, and Kashima reveals that Kuroz previously rejected him. To ease Shirakawa's worries, Kashima wants to avoid Kuroz, and Sakia agrees to help by informing Kashima about Kuroz's location, ensuring he can steer clear. Sakia advises Kashima to focus on studying without distractions, and Kashima agrees. The sports festival and culture festival are approaching, and the committee is looking for volunteers. Maria decides to take the job, and Shirakawa decides to join her. Shirakawa and Tanakita decide to help with the festival, and Kashima joins in too. He thinks it would be a good idea for Ajichi to help, and Ajichi agrees. Kashima wants to make a chance for Shirakawa and Kuroz to talk, so he suggests discussing pamphlets for the festival. Kashima meets with Sakia and shares a story from high school. Sakia wasn't popular until a girl suggested he change his hairstyle, which made him popular. Kashima, Shirakawa, and Kuroz try to pick a pamphlet, but it's hard. The teacher says they need to decide soon, and Kashima promises to take care of it. When Kashima gets home, he meets Kuroz at the train station. Kuroz shares her feelings, saying she likes Shirakawa and wants to be friends. Kashima realizes both girls like each other but are shy. Kuroz finds out Kashima goes to prep school and kept it a secret. Kash Kashima tells Shirakawa about Kuroz's feelings through his phone. Sports day comes, and Kashima cheers for Shirakawa, who wins a race. They run together and win another race. Kuroz, dressed as a cheerleader, sees her mom talking to Shirakawa and feels upset. She goes to the rooftop, and Kashima follows. Kuroz says she isn't a good sister and was jealous when her mom talked to Shirakawa. Kashima tries to be nice but Kuroz tells him to leave her alone to avoid developing feelings for him. Shirakawa hears this and walks downstairs. For the next festival, two pamphlets are made. Shirakawa likes one, and Kuroz likes the other. Kashima has to choose, and he picks Kuroz's pamphlet. Shirakawa is feeling sad. She tells Kashima that Kuroz might like him, and she thinks maybe Kashima is a better match for Kuroz. Upset, she says she won't message him for a while and runs away. Kuroz feels Kashima should have supported Shirakawa instead of telling the truth. She cares about her sister and wants the best for her. Kashima tries talking to Shirakawa, but she avoids him. Nicole is disappointed in Kashima. Confused, Kashima walks home, and Tanakita talks to him. She suggests that Shirakawa might have someone buying her expensive things. Kashima is surprised and asks for more details. Tanakita saw Shirakawa with a tall guy carrying a fancy bag, and she thinks he bought it for her. Kashima seeks help from Sakiya. Tanakita recognizes him as the guy with Shirakawa. Sakiya explains that he is Nicole's ex. Shirakawa asked him to talk to Nicole, but Sakiya feels guilty for breaking up with Nicole without a reason. Kashima encourages him to talk to Nicole and make things right. Some guys bother Shirakawa and Nicole. Kashima rushes to help Shirakawa, and the boys bother Nicole. Sakiya arrives and chases them away by saying Nicole is his girlfriend. She hugs him and cries. Ijichi confesses to Tanakita, 
but she says real feelings come from knowing the person, not just looks. She makes a joke about his confession and walks away. Shirakawa tells Ajichi about Tanakita's serious view on relationships and asks him to forgive her. Kashima hasn't fixed everything with Shirakawa. He looks for her in the classroom but doesn't find her. He meets her on the rooftop, and she explains her plan with Sakia. Since it didn't work, Kashima made it happen. She thanks Kashima, and things finally get better between them. Shirakawa and Kashima go to a park during Kashima's break from prep classes. They discuss Nicole and Sakia, who are planning to go on a date soon. Nicole plans to make a move. Meanwhile, Ijichi is heartbroken after his rejection and spends the night gaming. Back at school, Nicole tells the girls that she got rejected. Kashima asks Sakia why he rejected her and Sakia explains they shouldn't date during college to focus on studies. Kashima and Shirakawa's relationship has been awkward, they don't talk much, and Shirakawa feels a distance. Kashima walks home with Kuroz and decides they shouldn't contact each other anymore. He wants an exclusive relationship with Shirakawa, and Kuroz respects his decision. Kashima calls Shirakawa and yells Kuroz's name. <laughs> Kuroz was harassed, and Kashima saved her. Shirakawa learns Kashima was with Kuroz at the time. Kuroz tells the police she lost her earrings, but everything else is safe. Shirakawa meets Kashima, and he explains the situation. Shirakawa initiates a breakup. And they share an emotional moment. Kashima cries, expressing he doesn't want to break up, and Shirakawa feels the same. She thought Kashima would hate her, so she wanted distance. Kashima reassures her, saying he will never hate her. Shirakawa talks about her feelings for Kuroz, mentioning they had matching earrings. She kept hers, but Kuroz might not have. Kashima recalls Kuroz talking about a lost earring. They search and find it. Back in class, Shirakawa reveals Kuroz as her sister and returns the earring. They hug each other and secure their relationship. 